Good morning, our saints. Lift up your heads. Be encouraged. You will be attacked. You will be demeaned. You will be brought down. Oh, because we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers who are who are affecting this world through people. But we have one who died and rose again and who will give us victory. He doesn't promise victory immediately. That's why we fight the good fight of faith. I have a list for you. And there was a boxer and he said, I'm the greatest, I'm the greatest. Well, he, he was, he was great in some ways. And not in the area of humidity, humidity, excuse me, humility. But I have a list of the greatest, and the one, number one is the greatest love. The love of God transcends uh, infinitely above the love that we experience on planet Earth, amongst people. Those who love us most, and we treasure them, and we appreciate them. But then there's the, the love of God. And uh, I think it was the Apostle Paul, he, he said, And to the, know the love of Christ that passeth understanding. In other words, can't even begin to grasp the depth of the love of God. Number one, the greatest love for you personally. Yes, you imperfect though you may be. The greatest is the love of God. The second is the greatest sacrifice. And the greatest sacrifice on, on God's part, God the Father, is to send God the Son into the world really to suffer abuse and um, we understand what the father understood in the beginning God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world but that through him that is through his uh, vicarious atoning death on the cross excruciating meant to uh, create the ultimate suffering for the longest period of time. The greatest sacrifice is that of our Lord Jesus Christ, and therefore the greatest gift to the world. For God so loved the world that He gave. God gave this world. As one song uh, says, God kissed a guilty world with love. And so the greatest gift that can be given is God, the Father who gave God the Son into this world. And therefore, point number four is the greatest decision that a human being can make, that you can make, that I can make, is what will we do with Jesus Christ and the call of God? There are many decisions we have to make, you know, in terms of education, in terms of uh, family, marriage, spouse, uh, uh, work, uh, you know, what type, what discipline, what kind of work will we do, and and uh, with 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 which firm we will go, or are we entrepreneurs? A decision that need to be made, but the greatest decision is not whom with whom we will spend our life here on earth. The greatest decision is with whom we will spend eternity, time without end. And um, the book of Romans says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, I beg of you, Brethren, on bended knees, present your, your bodies.
your life a living, vibrant sacrifice unto God. It's your reasonable service. It's the right thing to do for all that God has done. And the next one is the greatest hope. And indeed, uh, the Bible is very clear that this physical body will will uh, cease functioning and, and cause death through uh, uh, many, many avenues that lead to death. But uh, uh, as we somehow humorously say, the possibility of a human being dying is 100%. And so it's appointed unto us once to die. But the greatest hope we have, and the hope that we have through the resurrection of Jesus Christ, is that there is life beyond this life. And that life will uh, meet the deepest, uh, most earnest, passionate, desires of the human heart which no man, no person can totally satisfy will be ours if we choose to dedicate our lives to the Lord Jesus Christ is living in eternity and having eternal life through Jesus Christ our, our Lord and that is indeed the essence of the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. That, um, O oh death, where is thy sting? So, <clears throat> the pastor, known to be a, uh, a eternal optimist, was visiting somebody in the hospital, and uh, he's encouraging me. He says, well, uh, tomorrow it will be better. The best is yet to come. So lift up your spirits. Tomorrow will be better. The best is yet to come. And the man says, the doctors are predicting I won't serve, survive this night. And the preacher optimist said, well, then tomorrow will be better. The best is yet to come. And it is for those of us who have received Jesus Christ. Whoever believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. And then point number six is the greatest call. The greatest call. Uh, the voice of God spoke to a man probably in his uh, midlife, mature years, and the uh, call came to him, uh, who, who will go for us and who can I send? And so there was the, the call of God going to this one man, asking him this question. He was really, I believe, directing it at him. But he says, who will go for us? Who can I send? And um, of course his response was, here my Lord sent me. And that's the greatest call that a human being can have. I remember I've heard of uh, Calvin Coolidge, one of our uh, past presidents. His mother was asked, well, aren't you proud of your son that he's president of the United States? And uh, her response was, well, if, if he couldn't be a minister of the gospel, then he may as well be president. She held being a servant of God through whatever means, uh, preaching, teaching, technology, music, all the, the, but everybody has a call and dear saint, you also are called. And so that's the greatest call, not from the New York Times help wanted section, or as we have now, the internet places of job seeking. No, the voice of God is still calling. He's probably calling you. And the last point I have is the greatest reward. And the greatest reward is uh, 
it includes heaven but it's God's pleasure to hear uh, the the voice of God in uh, whatever way that is communicated to say to us well done thou good and faithful servant and uh, to be live a life to please God is uh, is the right way to go and accrues to us the greatest pleasure of hearing God say to us yeah you fault fought you were in the arena you got wounded you got beat up you got bloodied but you were in the arena you were fighting you were living you were prevailing well done and so I say to you dear saint let's strive for these seven points of greatness keep them in mind and then live with the pleasure of God in mind. Thanks for listening. My name is Roy, and I'm your friend, and I'll be back. God bless. Goodbye.